Can let me hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Very good. It's so good to see you guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy. This is our second week. We've made it through the first one. Good job. I know it's getting old being at your house because it sure is getting old for me too. All right. So, Cow Joke Wednesday. I have a good one. What do you call it when a cow jumps over a bar a barbed wire fence? An utter catastrophe. Get it? But I'm bum. Utter, <laughs> utter catastrophe. Okay. okay. You're welcome, everyone. You're oh, welcome. So cool. Oh yeah, that's so funny. It's so funny. All right. Well, let's go ahead here. Oh wait. Something, something, something's wrong. Let me see. I need to mute you guys real quick. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second chances. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to take our chances. Close our eyes and leave. Miss Harris is freaking singing. Guess what we're talking about this week? Gravity! I'm sorry, I, I had a fan here to like blow my hair, but it wasn't close enough, so. I'm up in the sky. It's gravity today. All right. So, this week is gravity. Let me show you the screen so I can show you what we're going to be talking about here. All right. This is week two. We're going to be talking about those same forces that we talked about um, last week. Everybody can see my screen. Nod your head. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're talking about gravity and friction and air resistance this week. So here's our topics, exploring. Um, uh, remember, I will put the Zoom on here later, so if you need to go back and remember anything. Um, up here at the top is my office hours. Remember, I am available, oh, that should be um, Mondays and Wednesdays from 8 to 10. And then there's a new password that you have to have in order to get into that Zoom. So it's right here. So if on Tuesdays you ever have questions about the test, you can come in during that time and I can help you through it. Okay. So we can talk about that stuff. So remember that that is open for you. So today and Thursday, you need to be looking at your set and get. So this is your informational part. Again, you have the book pages if you want to read in the book. Remember, you can do that online or just in the book itself. Um, there is some really awesome... Am I doing that or somebody else? Stop drawing on my screen. There's some really awesome... Um, videos here for you guys to watch. I really want you to look at this um, misconceptions of falling arc. Mm, hold on a minute. Okay, so um, there is, this one right here is really good because this guy actually um, drops two different balls at the same time and he talks to a lot of people about um, if they think one is going to fall before the other. And I want you to really think about that answer before you watch the video. And it's pretty interesting to see what people are talking about. Um, and this is another really good one. This guy is great. 
He's talking about how a slinky actually falls. And then you have your laps. Now, I want to let you guys know, I know um, Owen talked to me that he was having trouble turning his lab in. Um, I fixed that and I will go back and fix it on this week too, um, for you to be able to turn your labs in. Um, I think that, I, I really wanna see what you guys are doing at home to explore these concepts. You can tell who is doing better on um, the uh, test based on who is actually doing those labs. So make sure you're taking the time to do those, please. Um, so here uh, you have your virtual labs, which you can do online. This one is actually in the book and it'll be under your assignments. Um, and then here's some really cool hands-on things you can do. So you can create a movie or an iMovie or a video doing a simple um, home experiment. Like Gabby, I love your videos. So y'all, Gabby made me a great video for my birthday, but you can actually take the time to do that. Hold on one minute. There we go. Sorry about that. I obviously let some of you draw and you're gonna distract people. So I took that off for a minute. Um, okay, so uh, this one is an air resistance one and it actually uses coffee filters that you look at different, um, how many different coffee filters you can get um, to fall and what the speed of that um, fall is going to be and you're looking at gravity. Um, here's gravity of water in a cup. Here's a really cool friction lab. So that's the other, we got gravity and we have friction. Um, looking at different carpet surfaces, like carpet versus outside versus concrete versus linoleum and dragging something like a block or something across that surface and then measuring um, the force that's needed to do that. So I know you're not gonna have basic materials like you do it in the science room. Um, I've been struggling with that as well, trying to get some stuff done for you guys, but um, look around your house. When it says what kind of forces you need, just grab some things like from the kitchen, like how many spoons does it take to go across the floor? Or, um, you know, if you have like army men or Legos or something, you look around and use things that materials that you have already there. I don't expect you to go out and find this stuff. And especially now since all the stores are actually starting to close. But I will open up these labs for you that have actual papers for them for you to be able to turn in. And then here is your assessment. Um, for this week. And remember that these assessments are due by Wednesday. Now, I had somebody actually try to turn this in already. There's no way because you didn't have this page published. So make sure if you accidentally turned it in or you already turned it in and thought you were being clever, you can go back. Because remember, I need to see evidence that you've actually done some of these labs and you've read the information before you take that test. These are only worth 10 points. So if you got a two out of 10 today, on your uh, assessment from this last week, you were failing my class already. So keep that in mind. I am not letting you retake, retake, retake. If you want to talk to me about your test because you didn't do well on it, then you have to come during my office hours to do that. You can't just retake a test like you were before, okay? So it's a little bit different rules now since we are already like trying to get this all figured out on our own, okay? so. At this point, that's everything that we're talking about this week. I apologize for letting people um, write on the screen. That shouldn't have been able to happen. So that's why we have all those marks on it. I'll remember that next time. Um, but I am done sharing this page now. And at this point, you are free to move forward. I'm gonna unmute you all. Um, you are free to move forward and start working on your assignments. If you have questions, you can stay on the line now. There are a few people I wanted to talk to specifically about your test today and make sure you understand how to get things in. I need Elijah, 
I'm going to mute you for one more second. I need Elijah, uh, Andrew, Micaiah, um, Newbie, and I, oh, and Vinny. If y'all could hang tight and just talk to me real quick about your tests. I think everybody else, I think you're doing okay. So if you have questions, go ahead and stay on the line. If you do not, you are free to move forward. I wanna thank you all for coming in today. Next week, I have another fun, exciting yeah. intro for you. Yeah. And cow joke, of course. So I'm gonna stop recording.